Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex from Avid Tech and we're back with another video. Today we're gonna to be discussing something that is still new in this day and age in the industry, and that's VR. To be specific, we're gonna be talking about that new Apple VR headset in comparison to the other ones that are on the market today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we dive into quote unquote, a new reality. I'm sure you guys by now are familiar with VR, which is virtual reality, or AR, which is augmented reality. Very similar things, but they're essentially devices that you put on your head uh, that allow you to see and perform actions in like a new world sort of deal. So think of yourself in your favorite video game and that's essentially put yourself in there uh, and that's essentially what VR or AR is. Believe it or not, VR has actually been around since about the late 1960s. A scientist actually uh, created a device that actually somehow performed VR in that, you know, way back in that those days. Uh, was a little bit different than what we have now, but it wasn't a commercial product, so we don't consider that actually VR, AR products. In 2016, we saw what was first commercialized as a VR headset, which was the Oculus Rift. And Oculus Rift did very well that year, and since then, we've seen a lot of other companies, HTC with the Vive, Sony with the PlayStation VR headset, um, and even Quest. But I believe we were about to see the latest competitor come into the market in the VR space, and that's gonna be Apple. Now, according to Apple Insider and reporter Mark Gurman, we've seen that Apple has been working on this for a while, and he says that Apple has actually sent out testing units um, for testing purposes, so that they can get enhancements and improvements uh, reviews for their devices before they send them out uh, to make a commercial. So timing-wise, since WWDC is typically in June, I don't see Apple making that any kind of known in terms of making it on the market. Uh, before then, I do think we may see an announcement uh, by or before then, um, but I don't see anything coming on the market before the summertime. Um, I may be thinking it might be later in the fall. It might be more of a holiday item um, with the new iPhone, iPad, stuff like that. Now, in regards to controlling the VR headset, right now, Apple is suggesting that AirPods could be essentially an audio function control. Um, of the Apple VR headset. I do think the iPhone will be the main source of control in terms of bringing in the games or applications for the device. I do think audio wise, the AirPods could be a favorable uh, item to use with it just because we know Apple and their ecosystem and how they like to be kind of private with that. Uh, but I do think internally there'll be audio drivers and software inside the VR headset so that you don't have to initially use Apple AirPods with the device. It will be interesting to see though if they still decide to use the AirPods as a main audio function um, and how that maybe changes the game with certain games or apps um, on the device. Maybe it enhances it uh, with the Dolby Atmos uh, functions that it has in it um, in the AirPod driver. So that'll be interesting to see. Again, we'll see that stuff later on down the road. This is uh, this is still new and relatively early in the game for this uh, process. But now on to something that we all want to know, and that's price. There have been no reports or suggestions about Apple's prices when it comes to the VR headset. Um, I can only speculate because based off of the Oculus Quest Vive and the Sony products that we've seen for the VR, um, they normally range from about $400 to $800. Uh, so, and knowing Apple, they tend to like to be on the premium end of things. So. I speculate that it could be around the $649 to $699 price mark. Um, again, if it's under that, it could be under that. I don't think they'll price it under the AirPods Max, and those are $549. So I do think it'll be that $649 price, $699 price mark. I do think like with the iPhone where they have the Pro lineup and a standard lineup, I do think that after this first iteration of the Apple VR headset, they could release like a light edition or something a little bit more price. Uh, aware for the uh, regular consumer, maybe at like the $399 or $429 mark, uh, $449 mark that they like to do. Um, so we could see something like that, but I don't think that's going to be within the first iteration of the Apple VR headset. So we still got a lot to unpack, guys, with the Apple VR headset coming here uh, with a WWDC. It'd be interesting to see if they um, acknowledge that at all, um, or we're going to have to wait till the fall um, Apple event. But uh, anyways, we'll know more information as we keep going through the year. Um, I'm sure I'll make another video. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're new. Um, if you've seen the channel before, um, if you haven't subscribed, I know who you are. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the like, like button, the thumbs up button, whatever you want to call it. Um, if you enjoy the video, make sure you comment down below. What do you think the price is going to be? Um, are you interested in the Apple VR headset at all? Do you have an Oculus Quest 5? And if so, do you use it? Do you like it? Um, and do you see the Apple VR headset being something that is uh, mass consumed? So 
Uh, let me know down in the comments below, but otherwise we'll see you in the next one.